recap on the electron volt. Now the electron volt is a, an example of a, a measurement of energy. Now what we can do is we don't use joules uh, when we're talking about particles very often because the energy in joules is a ridiculously small amount. So a joule is like when you lift one, one newton weight force through one meter and that is approximately a, a one joule of energy. So here for the electron volt we've just got another definition and it's a similar sort of thing but it's when you've got an electron now the electron here and it moves through a potential difference imagine that's zero volts and this is one volt when the electron moves through that potential difference by the time and it's got to that point there it has one electron volt now it's just like me if I was on my bike here and I was an electron and I was negatively charged and the bench over there was positively charged I would feel an attraction towards it like this and by the time I got to here I would have one electron volt so there is a conversion and the conversion this actually if you think about it not surprisingly um, is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 uh, joules make up one electron volt. So when the electron has got from here to here, not only has it got one electron volt, but the identical measurement is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. That's how much energy it's got. So if we've got two electron volts, we've got 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 joules and so on. Now to convert them what you have to do is you have to uh, divide or multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Right so I'm going to let you think about it for a minute and think about what you should do. Should you times or divide if you want to go change from electron volts into joules. Hopefully you worked out that if you want one electron volt equals 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, then to convert one electron volt into joules, what we need to do is we need to times it. So it's just like basically 1 times 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19. Now, as before, we need to make sure we put everything in brackets. Make sure you keep it all in brackets, otherwise your calculator will come up ridicul rid with ridiculous numbers. So, that means if I want to convert joules into electron volts, I have to go the opposite way around. Right, so what you should find out is that should equal 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electron volts, but hopefully, if you were absolutely superb, you should have realised I've got two significant figures there, it should be 6.3 times 10 to the 18 electron volts, and hopefully that makes sense, because if you think of the amount of electrons in a 1 newton weight force, like something like a pencil case, there's going to be loads of them. So you're going to have loads of electron volts. So if you've got a number in joules and you convert to electron volts, you're expecting for a really big number. If you've got a number in electron volts and you're trying to convert into joules, then you're going to get a really, really small number. Okay, here are a few more. I want you to try these out and uh, see if you get the right answer.